हो दीदी इन अ ब्यूटीफुल विलेज दे यूज टू लिव अ ट्रेडर नेम्ड सरैया ही यूज टू सेल वेजिटेबल्स टू द विलेजर्स इन एक्सचेंज ऑफ डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स एंड वुड फर्दर सेल दोस डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स टू द पीपल इन द सिटी इन द सेम विलेज देयर लिव्ड अ वुमन नेम्ड रम्या रम्या वाज वेरी इनोसेंट एंड गलबल वन डे हर नेबर प्रज्ञा कम्स टू हर डोर हे रम्या यू आर लुकिंग सिक डे बाय डे आर यू नॉट ईटिंग ऑन टाइम थैंक्स फॉर आस्किंग डियर बट दैट्स नॉट द केस आई टेक केयर ऑफ माय हेल्थ बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई एम नॉट एबल टू फीड माय कैटल्स प्रॉपरली इट हैजंट रेन सिंस मेनी डेज हाउ कुड आई ग्रो क्रॉस फॉर देम विदाउट रेन आई हैव टू सेल बटर एंड मिल्क एवरी डे टू सरैया दैट्स वॉट आई सर्वाइव ऑन हम्म but we can't help it destiny you see uh by the way i need some sugar can you please lend me some oh sure give me a moment ramya goes to the kitchen to get some sugar in the meantime pragya seizes the opportunity to grab some butter it was very tasty pragya then takes the sugar and leaves for her home sareya comes there next morning hey ramya Here are the vegetables. Come on, grab quickly whatever you want. I have to rush. Why do you always rush, Saraya? I need some time to pick the right vegetables. Why are you always so skeptical? Why don't you trust me for once? These are all good. Pick any; they'll taste good. A kilo of eggplants, please. Saraya gives Ramya one kilo of eggplant as asked. In exchange, Ramya gives him a lot of butter. Next morning, Ramya goes to the village temple. There she finds the head of the village and talks to him. "Hello, sir. How are you?" "Hello, Ramya. How are you? Is everything all right?" "So, everything is good, but you see it hasn't rained since many days. I am unable to feed my cattle properly." Why don't you use the land which is beside my private pond? You will have enough water over there to grow the fodder. You can pay me later for that. That's a wonderful idea, sir. That will solve all my problems. Thank you, sir. That's my duty, Ramya. I am the head of the village. It is my duty to take care of you all. Well, all the best to you. You are very kind, sir. I am indebted to you. Right from that day. Ramya starts growing grass on the field beside the pond. It takes some time for the grass to grow, but once it grows, she starts feeding her cattle. The cattle start giving a lot of milk. She could make really amazing butter out of it. She starts selling the same to Saraya. Oh wow, Ramya, your business seems to be going very well. Everyone in the city demands only your milk and butter. Oh sure Saraya here you go some more milk I wish I was also lucky enough to make that much of money hmm Don't worry Saraya even your business will rise very soon Saraya nods to Ramya's words but deep inside he was very jealous of her success Saraya's only objective now was to cause harm to Ramya's business so he decides to buy the cattle and hence reaches ramya's place to talk to her ramya greets him as usual not knowing what his real intentions were hello saraya what brings you so early today i haven't even milked yet nor is the butter ready it's not about milk ramya i am here with a business deal would you like to sell your cattle for a good amount of money oh no saraya what are you even talking about i can never sell them How can you not sell your cattle? You will have to sell them some day. They are my only family. Please. All right. Why are you crying? Why are you shedding tears? What did I even ask for? Why would anyone cry so much only for their cattle? Relax. Saying so, Saraya leaves from there. Ramya gets very emotional and holds her cattle. A few days passes like that. Ramya earns very good profits by selling milk and butter. Saraya's jealousy and hatred 
for her success increases he is constantly blaming ramya for this so he decides to meet the head of the village to seek justice hello saraya why do you look worried what happened tell me sir i am here to seek justice you must give me justice since quite many days ramya has been giving me less butter in exchange of vegetables upon hearing saraya's plea the landlord immediately summons ramya hello sir you are accused of cheating saraya i have heard that you are not giving him sufficient butter in exchange of vegetables is that true yes that's true saraya let ramya speak ramya you should tell me the truth if you lie i will give you a bigger punishment remember that go on now i have been fooled by her that was unjust you have to compensate me sir do justice saraya rest assured i will surely give you justice but let ramya speak first ramya tell me the truth honestly i don't even have weighing stones i simply weigh in the same weighing basket that saraya gives me vegetables in for example if he gives me a kilo of eggplant i give him the very same quantity of my butter i thought that was just upon hearing ramya's side of story the landlord starts thinking saraya on the other hand is extremely worried because he feels he will now be exposed saraya from what i hear it looks like ramya has been cheated and not you in fact you are the one who should be punished here and she should be given justice not you you should be severely punished for wasting everybody's time i am so sorry sir i got very jealous of ramya's success please forgive me sir sir i request you do not to punish saraya he's a nice man please sir oh ramya you are so kind hearted i cheated you for so many days yet you want to save me thank you saraya you need to change your approach right away you can never climb the stairs of success by cheating others instead you should always try to help each other in the journey of success always strive to become a good person saraya understood sir ramya your innocence and honesty saved you and the justice prevailed as the zamindar says so ramya happily leaves for her home and shares the joy with her cattles